Hey, what is up everyone? Norman from Future Student University here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use vendor scripting, gray database projects, and how to blur images on Android efficiently. Vendor script is a framework for running computation intensive tasks at high performance on Android. For example, if you need to do image manipulation, it's going to be much faster in vendor script than in Java. So let's look at an example. Here we have the Picasso tutorial we're using on our blog. Let's move on to the gray script of our app project. Now usually you declare your dependencies down here. But if you want to use vendor scripts, it's a little bit different. You go to your Android tag, default config, and you're going to write vendor script. Target API. And you have to use 19, even though if your target SDK is 23. And the second line you have to use is vendor script support mode enabled and then true and sync your project and a few seconds later you should be able to use the support library of render script for all the old versions of android all right let's move on to the second part where we blur on images let's create a new class that class only has one method and it's going to take a bitmap and return the blurred version of it Now the first thing you have to do is create a vendor script instance. Make sure you're using the support v8 version of it. And you're creating an instance by vendor script create and you need to pass a context. And so we have to add that as a parameter to our method. Const The first thing we have to do is create a new bitmap which is going to be our output. So let's call it blur bitmap. And for now we're just going to copy the input bitmap. We're going to use the best config available and say it's immutable. And at the end we're going to return that bitmap. Let's create the input allocation. Use the vendor script allocation class it's called input. And use the allocation create from bitmap method. Pass vendor script and pass the blur bitmap and say it's the best quality possible with bitmap full and say allocation usage shared for best performance. Next up is the output allocation. So one more time allocation, this time output. And we're just going to say what kind of type it is. So allocation, create type. And this just reserves us memory for this specific memory type. And we are going to say it's the same type as our input. Now we have the memory. Next up is actually blurring it. And for the blurring, we're going to use a little script, which is already provided by the library. It's called script intrinsic blur. We're going to just call it script, and we're going to allocate an instance of that script by the create method. We're going to pass the render script instance again, and we have to add one more parameter for us to work. So next is to say the input. Here we're going to pass the memory, not the bitmap itself. So let's set the radius for 10. Script set radius. And in our experience, 10 is a very good value. The last step for the vendor script is to actually run it. And we're going to do that with for each, and then we're passing the output memory allocation. So let's take the output memory allocation, copy two, and then we pass our blurred bitmap. Now let's recycle the input bitmap. And then we're done. And that's how you blur images on Android using vendor script. 
you like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube. All the information are in the links in the description and happy coding.